Travelers, I am so excited because this week we're talking about one of my oldest friends. I mean, we go way back. I remember it like it was yesterday. We used to do everything together. We used to swim the ocean, relax with the dinosaurs, and play stickball. <laughs> we played stickball right next to the volcano. Uh, Grandpa Trev, was your friend a sea turtle? Well, yes, I, I think that was his name, uh, Eugene Sea Turtle. Uh, I'm not so sure it was. I think you may be thinking of the green sea turtle, but they don't really have any record of playing stickball. They have been around for almost 100 million years, though. But the normal lifespan for a human is about 80 to 100. I really don't know how you would have hung out with one that long ago. I mean, I could have some details wrong. It's been a really long time, but I could have swore it was Eugene. Well, let's clear some of them up with a discussion about the green sea turtle. Weighing almost 700 pounds, the green sea turtle is one of the largest species of sea turtle. And it doesn't get its colorful name because of its shell. Its shell, also known as the carapace, is oftentimes brown or olive color. It gets its name because of its green skin. Green sea turtles spend almost their entire lives underwater, but they still breathe air. A green sea turtle can hold its breath up to five hours. What they'll do is they'll slow their heart rate down very slowly, about one beat every nine minutes. To compare, a normal heartbeat is about 60 to 100 beats a minute. Or an even faster heart rate if you're exercising. One of the most interesting features about the green sea turtle is the amazing trek that fledglings make after they hatch. The adult female sea turtle will dig out a nest on the beach and bury its eggs. She will then leave the eggs and head back to the ocean. After the little baby turtle hatches, it can take them to a week to make their way to the ocean from the beach. This trek is one of the most dangerous journeys in all of the animal kingdom. They face the threats of multiple predators, including gulls and crabs. The IUCN currently lists some subspecies of the green sea turtle as endangered or critically endangered. Humans are the number one threat to sea turtles. They often fall victim to boating accidents and human invasion of their nests on the beach. Another major threat for them is large fishing nets, which they can become easily entangled in, which makes it really, really hard to come up and get that breath of air. One thing you can do to help out the green sea turtle is make sure you keep a safe distance from their nests during breeding season. As we learned today, the trek to the sea is hard enough without our involvement. Thanks for checking us out this week, travelers. This week's honorary traveler is traveler Erica. Today is her birthday, and her one birthday wish was that we did an episode on the green sea turtle. Happy birthday, Erica, and thanks for writing in to Trav at TravsTravels.org and requesting the green sea turtle. If you're as cool as Erica, make sure to email us and let us know any animal or conservation effort that you want to learn more about. If you want to know where a green sea turtle lives or other ways that you can help them out in the wild, visit us at TravsTravels.org and check out our Facebook and Twitter page. Keep on traveling. Thank you